हाय आकांक्षा हाय गुंजन हाउ आर यू आई एम गुड हाउ आर यू हाउ इज मुंबई वेदर इज बेटर आई एम एट माय होम टाउन सो रियली एंजॉयिंग माय टाइम विद फैमिली सो इट्स ऑल ग्रेट एंड सेफ सो या होप ऑल सेफ विद यू यस सो फार यस बीइंग लकी सो हाउ हैव यू बीन हाउ इज द लॉकडाउन एवरीथिंग वेयर इज द होम टाउन I'm from Jaipur so right now in Jaipur and everything has been um, I'm grateful that I'm safe my family is safe and um so far so good That's great Akansha you are a phys- uh, physiotherapist by education correct and from Rajasthan Jaipur I mean how did this doctor thing become the actor thing take us to that journey um, it's it's never like you know usually people don't ask uh, uh, that you know if any other profession but it's with engineers and doctors i think <laughs> people are very curious that how come uh, this shift of uh, profession uh, but um, i feel that you know um, it's um, it, it's great and uh, i never thought of being an actor i was studying and i wanted to be a doctor and i was studying for that and uh, but i was doing theaters in jaipur and uh, somewhere in my mind their subconscious mind it was there that i wanted to be an actor and uh, i was loving what i was doing in theater but never thought of coming to bombay and struggle and you know be um, on screen but it happened and i'm glad it happened because uh, coming like my mom is a theater actor and i always wanted to be an actor subconsciously but never spoke about it but it happened eventually and i'm really glad that it happened It's a lot of fans for uh, na bole tumne maine kuch kaha how did that mm-hmm. happen to you such a big success um it just i got i was in jaipur and it was just the fi- like you know first uh, opportunity and i grabbed it and um, it was quite uh, i won't say um, i struggled a lot to get my first show but um, i just gave an audition and they really liked the audition and that's how i got uh, na bole tum so that's how my journey started but that was a, a very uh, i i don't know how to say that but it's a very dicey uh, you know choice because you played a young widow of two a mother of two two kids i mean mm-hmm. what made you decide do this role as a debut for your television i think it's it's totally depend you know as an actor i feel that uh, it's your responsibility to play different different characters and if it's a strong character i feel one should go ahead with it and i was young i was um, i just had an opportunity to show my talent and that's why i grabbed it and uh, people really loved that yeah it was definitely a lot of fans are here also so after that you uh, also did gulmohar brand which was a very unique um, kind of a you know mini series that we not many people had seen on television earlier mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. it had to uh, break down its schedule much ahead than it was planned what happened oh um, i think uh, it's it's very weird to say but uh, that time the series was were not doing uh, um, great in india but it was number one show in uk and uh, um i was very skeptical of doing television show after na bole tum because i did not wanted to repeat myself and that's how my film journey started and that opportunity i got it from uh, badri and then uh, it happened with uh, south and I've, i'm still working in south and still my journey is going ahead and um given i've given blockbusters in south so i'm glad that my film journey has started now and um, yeah so not uh, um i'm focusing more on films and web shows now but it was a good show people really liked it in um, uk so yeah that's how it happened and i am uh, grateful for whatever my journey has been till now and uh, what has been offered to me i'm really happy for that uh i was asking that after gulmohar grant uh, did tollywood happen or you had some projects on hand from the film continuously, uh, continuously shooting um i mean i never sat back 
home and I was never out of work because I was continuously working. When my first show got over, I got uh, so many commercials. I I was busy doing commercials and then uh, television ads. And then I got this uh, Gulmoho Grand and post that I did not want it to do the same a uh, character on television or pe- when people offer me the same kind of roles as an actor i don't feel that um for me satisfaction is the biggest thing and uh, when you portray as an actor different different roles i feel that is the most important thing for a for an actor and on screen i wanted to see myself differently and that's how uh, i wanted to take a break and uh, step back and do films and i was waiting uh, for a good film on my way then badri happened and the uh, mode of doing badri was just to have an experience with the team and a film experience nothing more and people really recognize that small uh, character and uh, uh, because of badri i won't say my south journey started uh, south journey started because i got a call uh, from a casting director and uh, she said that you know um the director has seen my pictures and he really feels that i will suit to this character and my first film was a critically acclaimed film which was malli rava down south and um, yeah so the director felt that i am close to the ca- character and when i heard the story over the phone i was totally sold i was like yes i want to do this particular film and people till now talk about it was my first film and till now talk about that film so when i started working on the films i felt that this is what i really want to explore because i am getting different roles and uh, different characters to play not just one and just not stuck into one character for days and days and months and months so i think for an actor it is very important to portray different characters yes very important so badri definitely did the magic for you people really noticed and uh... the character though it was a very uh, like it was a brief uh, appearance but then you know it really made an impact you were yeah. uh, with the people remember you when people still call you the woman from badri ki dulhaniya and all but uh, why after that you started getting south film offers were you scared i mean it's a different language it's a different setup people work differently over there um work differently yes of course like there's a difference um, in working environment but i feel that i wasn't uh, for my first film yes i did um, you know a skeptical because uh, there's a different language different people different setup everything was different but when i heard the story that gave me confidence that yes i want to do let let's just try you know there's no risk like obviously there's a risk but there's no harm in trying new things and um, i have i had no clue about telugu i had no clue about the language but then also i tried to learn my dialogues because i wanted the lip sync to be proper and everything when it goes for dubbing and stuff so i really worked hard for that character and my team was really good so there was nothing which was you know uh, pulling me towards saying no uh, everything was yes yes and that's how it started so yeah so how is uh, it um, you know doing two different uh, movies uh, like one in another language one in hindi i mean how do you balance up because you know frankly thinking that learning telugu and performing it and then coming back to hindi movies is kind of a struggle <laughs> on the mind i've done three languages films and my i've done a bilingual film also which will be going to release this year so uh, i am doing multilingual things you know like i've done telugu tamil kannada um now malayalam is left i'm just hoping that someone offers me malayalam <laughs> film because they are lovely content wise um so yeah so you know i'm i'm doing multilingual films it when i'm doing a bilingual like my film clap in which i'm playing a hockey player that again a different role um in that like we we were shooting uh, telugu and tamil simultaneously like one scene and first oh. we are shooting tamil and then we are shooting telugu or vice versa but it it was like a, you know then you feel that oh learning is not a problem earn learning and then learning is a problem yeah so, you know once you are you have the hang of the the language which you don't know 
once you have the hang of that language and you know your lines then early learning became very difficult so, you know so that usually happens but if you talk about telugu and uh, hindi then hindi is my language like it's a i don't feel uh, discomfort speaking in hindi so yeah but if you talk about two different south languages then of course yes <laughs> god must be a mess in the head <laughs> sometimes uh, it does but um if your team is good and they help you with the language you have the language teacher and everything so yeah it it makes work a little easy so how was it working with alia and varun dhawan and the other cast of badri ki dulhaniya it was an amazing experience all together with the film cast and crew and everybody like i never felt that i am an outsider and i'm coming from a totally different background and uh, i had a blast shooting in singapore for 25 days and um yeah so as i told you that it was thoroughly thoroughly for my experience my own experience that how a film set work um so i said yes and alia was amazing um, obviously she's a terrific actor uh varun uh, very chilled out guy very very chilled out guy to talk to to work with and uh, yeah the team was super great any learnings that you learned on the set and you will never forget ever in life from coming from alia or varun oh i can cannot think of anything but i think if with each project you learn something and um, with each project i feel my um, you know good things from the actors like when they perform you can definitely observe them and take them so i think i don't remember what i took from alia and varun but of course every project teaches you something your upcoming project is may day and you're playing uh, on screen bike to ajay devgan which again he's directing and acting in itself how is it working with ajay devgan so honestly this as is my actor and as an actor as a sorry So honestly this is my bollywood debut much awaited bollywood debut because my south is going really good and after badri i didn't do anything in bollywood and this is bollywood i i, I think badri was just a cameo and this is the much awaited bollywood debut for me and uh, i'm just uh, hoping that you know soon we'll show you the film and you'll love it um as a director um so it was very confusing you know like when you are performing with ajay sir and he is in in the same scene and he has to direct so it was very fascinating to see how he will say cut an action um but the transformation from director to actor and actor to director was amazing and um, yeah the the perspective uh, he sh- the you know his perspective is different I have shot with eleven cameras in my life for the first time, so yeah, where, wherever you see there, are, there are camera, 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 camera. So I was that was a different experience for me. So as I told you, that every film teaches you a, you know, something different. And actor, I'm not in a position to say about anything about his acting because everybody knows how effortlessly he acts in front of the camera, but he's equally good as a director. and the perspective the way he shoots the way he wants his camera to move you will not find his uh, camera to be static it will it will always uh, be fluid you know there's a movement in every scene so i really like that about him okay and uh, did you also have a chance to share screen with mr bachchan since he's also part of the movie yes <laughs> i did <laughs> and um, he's a gentleman he's a sweetheart that i like i'm i was always a die hard fan and uh, i the first day i remember that i told him that you know um sir i'm a really huge fan and i had a fracture on my foot so mm-hmm. i just went on a, a wheelchair and i met him and i said that you know sir i'm a really big fan of you and my um, dream is of like you know i always thought that i will work with you um and is it is happening so my one bucket list is uh, you know has a tick <laughs> but my other wish is that i i would love to have a you know letter from you uh, some day um, in my life that you know for my performance you write a letter so then he laughed and he said and um, 
suppose that I on the last day I just like last day in the sense after that we didn't shoot because of the COVID. But uh, I was shooting with him and I just wrote a handwritten poem to him and I gave it to him. And he read it and he said, "Acha uh, likh leti hai aap." And I was like, "Bas." <laughs> <laughs> Abhi aur kuch nahi. Like I thanked him, and the very next day he wrote a letter to me, and he sent it to my place. And when I opened it, I was like, so he wrote also that you know udarta. Ye pehle hi udarta ka patr kijiye swikar. Prashansa ke patr aate rahenge. So that was a really really big thing for me that he is looking forward and uh, he really liked what I wrote about him. So yeah, charmer. He is a charmer. <laughs> so both the wishes stick back. Yeah, somehow, like I, I really want to work more with him. Making up call. So your fans are are also asking that, ma'am, please tell uh, us something about your skin routine because you look really beautiful. I don't do much about my skin, honestly. Um, earlier, I was not um, very cautious about drinking water, but now I, I, I always keep a bottle with me. and i just fill it and i just uh, keep a check that how much water i am drinking so as much as you can drink and be uh, keep yourself hydrated eat fruits and uh, yeah just clean your skin nicely and keep moisturizing so yeah i just do this i don't have any skin care routine as such okay so there is someone uh, called gyan he wants to know how will you describe difference between tollywood and bollywood um there is a uh, lots of differences but number one difference is um, in bollywood we do sing sound but sing sound means uh, for the people who don't know about it uh, we record live sounds you know and whatever disturbance we get um, on set we later dub it but we never dub the whole film in here mm. um but in south we dub the whole film still oh. yeah so uh, acha from apart from all the other questions i have a little rapid fire round for you so we mm-hmm. need very quick answers from you okay. uh okay let's we start with your favorite co star till date favorite co star uh, mr bachchan <laughs> be safe <laughs> badri ki dulhaniya aur mere mere <laughs> tv aur bollywood Bollywood and Bollywood or Tollywood? Ah uh-uh, ah, both. <laughs> I cannot choose. <laughs> okay, are you behind behind the camera or on camera? Um, on camera, terrific. Okay, your dream actor to work with? Ah, uh, my dream was to work with um, Irfan Khan sir, but. Um, Yeah, now I really want to work with uh, Dwayne Johnson. Like he's my favorite. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't say recently we also uh, uh, read about your uh, COVID relief, the, the the funds that you have raised by auctioning your wardrobe. So that was um, quite an idea. How did you uh, decide on that, and how is it going? How much have you been able to contribute and stuff? uh so i always wanted to uh, you know do this thing um i always planned of uh, this that you know i will auction my wardrobe for any other cause i always thought about it but i never thought that it will be for uh, covid and then i decided that you know let's just do it for this particular cause because a country needs us and how much i can contribute from my end i will uh but let's just try you know there's i again there's no harm in trying so i tried and um, yeah people are coming in still i'm posting pictures of my wardrobe and people are buying stuff and people are saying that we are happy to contribute so that's the that's the biggest thing for me and people are taking inspiration like it's a very very big thing for college students to come ahead and feed people so i've got a message from um a group of college students from bangalore who are doing this food drive in bangalore taking inspiration from whatever little i am doing for people so i think it's it's really great to see people coming forward in whatever way they can help they are help, helping it's not just that you know you're donating money or you're just spending money it's not about that 
caring for people is uh, what we need in this our time and uh, i'm happy that people are coming ahead and doing that that's great uh, are there any other ways you can suggest uh, our audience also here that they can contribute in you know this is such a nice idea to auction your wardrobe but of course our wardrobe doesn't matter that much but there are there are, apart from donating to um, relief funds and all what all can we do um it's not about uh, you know um, your wardrobe is not uh, um um mean that much it's not about that i want to clear this thing because um it's about what in whatever way you can help you can help you can you can be a part of uh, you know food drive you can be a part of water drive people are you can you can feed uh, pets on the street uh, stray and animals you can do that or uh, in any way if you can donate if you want to donate you can donate and if you can donate medicines or something else to people you can do it in whichever way you want so it's just that i felt this that you know people uh, the fans um i have they would really like to have my clothes as you get in a key like something from my personal like th- this is these are my personal things so they'll have uh, it with them so i think and people the the kind of um, enthusiasm people have shown uh, towards this initiative um it's amazing i never expected that so many people will come in and you know uh, it it will uh, pick up like this but it is happening and i'm happy that people are donating uh, money and people are coming forward and helping people that is really great very very amazing akansha the work you have been doing and we are definitely looking forward for may day and your you. uh, debut bollywood debut that you are looking forward to Uh, thank I you, think thank so much. And they want you to take their names, but you can just say maybe hi to a couple of them. Hi to everyone. <laughs> I cannot take everybody's name, but hi and thank you uh, for always appreciating and loving. Thank you so much, Akansha, and thank you, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great talking to you, Gunjan. Bye.